This opal bust carved from one entire piece of boulder opal is one of the most extraordinary and spectacular gemstone carvings I've ever seen in my career. It was carved by the Victorian cameo engraver Wilhelm Schmidt who invented the technique of carving opal matrix in 1874. Schmidt was born in 1845 in Germany, in Ida Oberstein, which then and now is a gemstone town. At the age of 15, he was sent to Paris, where he was apprenticed by a jeweler as a cameo engraver, and he was apprenticed in the neoclassical tradition. Taking a closer look at the object, the head of Mars and the vulture atop his head are carved from one single piece of boulder opal. Schmidt utilises the layers of the ironstone to reveal these thin layers of precious opal. The whole thing rests on multicoloured agate plinth, which has four cameos also by Schmidt. The first one at the front is an idolised goddess. On one side we have Cleopatra, on the other the goddess Minerva, and finally, we also have the goddess Isis. What I particularly love about this carving is that the more you look, the more you see. Everything that the bust and the carving is, is made from has been carefully thought out. All the different colours in the agate plinth reflect the play of colours in the opal. The labradorite cameos which flash electric blue and green as they are turned and even in the brown matrix if you turn and have a look you can even see there are sometimes little flashes of orange. All of this culminates in an exquisite carving by the hand of a master. I have never seen a carved gemstone bust by Wilhelm Schmidt come on the market before, and I've never seen a work of art fully signed by him before either. This bust here is fully signed W. Schmidt, and in his letter of reminiscences, he says that this is one of his most seminal works that he was most proud of. And the fact that the bust is carved from one single piece of opal is extraordinary. With fluctuations of temperature, it can dry out, or with humidity, it can crack and spoil. So carving opal in any form is a hazardous undertaking. This fabulous carving is going to be sold in our final New Bond Street sale of the year, London Jewels, on the 1st of December.